Uh, welcome back folks to another day in the car driving to the water. All right, we're driving to saltwater reaches of southern New England to search for striped bass, mainly peanut bunkers getting harassed by striped bass, right? That's what we're looking for today. And it's 52 degrees, 51 degrees. We're getting close to our first destination here. And there's not much to my method of madness here. It's kind of just random. I looked on Google Maps as I was driving and kind of just picked a random point that looks like it's got some public access. I don't see too much to get excited about here. Very weird place here, folks. Very weird place. Very Christmassy. And yeah, we got a school of bait in here. All right, well, after failing to find any action, just driving home, right on the side of 95, right along the water, I saw a big wad of birds, and I took the next exit. I've never accessed the water right here, so I didn't really know where I was going, and now, here we are. Let's see if we can't find these birds. Uh, yep, birds are right there. Look at this, there's parking right here. Are you kidding me? What a treat. All right, well, let's go give it a shot. Yeah, the water birds has since vanished, but I see a school. I see a school. We're gonna go get into this school. Oof. They're in like two foot of water or less. Uh, I'm in like a foot of water or less. Should catch these fish. They're super shallow. They're stupid shallow. Super shallow fish. Oof. It's not on my spook. Much more than oh, that's a decent fish. Just about keep a size. He was in about 16 inches of water. There he is, yeah, 27, 28 inch fish. They are like, look at this one waking right here. Oh my gosh. That's sick. That's sick. Look how freaking shallow we are. I gotta get it together. I gotta tighten up. That almost just got me in the face. It's kinda sick though. Oh. That right there. Oh, got a bite. Smaller, he popped off. We're using just one treble hook on the spook. 
in an attempt to A, not hook myself. Like my hand. Much more than I've ever known. That's Interstate 95 right there. Never know. Dun, 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 dun. This one's been eating good. This one's been eating all the pizza, all the cheeseburgers. There he is, fatty. Got some more movements in the water right here. And it breaks my heart. Last licks of the season here. They're freaking halfway to shore. I see them right now in like 10 inches of water. Right in the hustle and bustle of I-95. See what we got here. Hey, for the second week of November, this is not bad, folks. For the second week of November, we're getting topwater bass, one to two feet of water, right here in Southern New England. Kinda sick. It's crazy that just an hour at dusk. It's been like 20 minutes, honestly, 30 minutes, I don't know. Makes your whole day. All the trials and tribulations, the failures. I'm gonna forget all about those. Oh, it just got smashed. Forget all about them. I'm gonna remember this dusk bite. Even though it's just schoolies, it is late season schoolies. These are, look at this, we got a good freaking show and a fish right here. Oh, just missed one. Surprised that we're not getting more bites, but a lot of fish showing. I cast into them and I don't get bit because the peanut bunkers. Lots of peanut bunkers. Oof. Oof. Angry fish. Uh, oh. Render right there. What we got? It's a slot. A slot fish. Thirty incher. Maybe thirty two. We got leader touch on them. Oh, we got them. Check out that fish for November 7th, 8th, whatever. On a little spook. That's a 32, 31 inch, 32 inch fish. Let's let him go. It's a beautiful evening here, folks. I think that's all we got because I think we are well out of daylight. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. All right, folks, this battery right there. Do not buy those off Amazon. I bought four of them and 
none of them have worked properly. So, very disappointed, very disappointed with that. But we got a sunrise and uh, hopefully we have battery power for this escapade here. All right, folks, look familiar? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe you've driven down this road thousands of times before, maybe just once before. But I've driven down this road probably more than a couple dozen times. And I never thought to fish over there, right over there. I'm looking, looking, I don't see, I don't see it happening. Oh, oh, yep, it's happening, folks. It's happening, I see it. All right, we're exiting. I don't know if you guys can see that. The name of the battery is Jipofu. Of course. Why did I buy the Jipofu? Looks like wicked low tide. We got seagulls blitzing on trash. I almost ran them over. Let's get out there. Oh, I see good things. Eh, not great things. Alright, so I'm not seeing anything too organized here. We have a smattering of fish showing like all around. I'm just seeing wakes. You know, we got this glass come water and I'm just seeing a couple fish here and there. Just very scattered. So straight ahead. We got something waking, so. I'm just gonna throw the same spook. I've got this extensive flat here that these fish seem to like right here, right now. I got nothing showing in range, so I'm just gonna start with a couple blind casts, see what happens here. Look at this glass more. Over there, we have a nice little patch of fish just out of my range, kind of walking that way. This rod I'm using is the nine foot Jigging World Onyx. It's a great schoolie rod. Caught fish to 37 inches with it. Can handle it. I got the pen slammer. Three. Bit of action here, starting to starting to pick up a little bit. Fish rolled there. Oh, literally, as I took my hand off the reel handle, got our first actual bite just before sunrise. Here, folks, just before sunrise. What a morning, folks! What a morning. Oh yeah, look at that pug nose beauty right there. Holy pug nose. That's what I'm talking about. Whew, you ever seen one like that? Of course you have. It's the 21st century. We love social media. Yeah, you've seen those pug noses, but damn. That's unfortunate for you. Excellent start. Damn, look at this. Schools are getting a little more active here. I just had three bites as I was saving that video. Turned it off. Oh, third bite. Oh, fourth, fifth. Fifth bite. None of them I felt. I, I didn't feel any of those bites. I did not actually eat it. Mm, that's a bite. Oh, come on. Quit teabagging me like that. Look at that. He's teabagging me so hard. Just getting teabagged out here, folks, at first light. Look at that. Teabagged. This time we're gonna catch him. Oh, terrible cast.
We're gonna have to throw a different lure here. This is just outright. This is just ridiculous. They're rolling everywhere. That's close enough. I would expect to get bit. Thank you. Very timid, hesitant, striped bass here, folks. He ain't much, but he's what we got. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, fat little schoolie. My legs are freezing cold here, folks. The water's kind of getting deep here. The tide's rising. All right, well, I saw that there's a pier over here that looks like it had some bird play in range. And I Google mapped it, and it looks like this is a school. I don't want to park at the school to fish for schoolies. Actually, that's kind of idea here but this should we fish for schoolies at the school right now something about that doesn't feel right all right we're back at the, the zone and there are you know I'm seeing there's still there's still a little action out but I'm kind of feeling like I'm over it. I don't want to wait out. Oh, yeah. Videos, man. Yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> what, what, what is your name? Uh, on YouTube, it's Sea Money Fishing. Sea Money, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm able to make you up. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was driving yesterday. Up the highway, yeah. I saw him from uh, the highway. Yeah. I just got off the highway, like. You, you know, you have 